Hi, another episode of Mr. Marty. Well, it's uh, <clears throat> day number three of um, of my uh, my new career as an infant teacher. Um, starting day day number three. Uh, I'm at the uh, North Temple Station. You can see the sign in the background, and then I want to show you this. Uh, that's the Capitol Building right there. Uh, that's where they make all these kind of funny laws in Utah. Um, I'm so um, anyways, I was gonna make a joke, but maybe not. I want to don't want to offend anybody. But uh, yeah, they make they make some uh, some funny laws like a lot of other uh, legislatures um, in the country. But anyways, that's that's it. That's uh, that's where these guys that make a, a whole lot of money to uh, <clears throat> do uh, <clears throat> do whatever they do uh, when they do there. Anyways, um, just a little uh, early morning humor. So. Uh, yeah, so I'm getting ready to catch the uh, front runner train, and uh, it's just been crazy. Yesterday, I had like virtually no uh, time to catch to um, catch up on emails or or whatnot. And the thing too is, just so you guys know, some of you guys back in Mesa, um, like, hey, why isn't Mr. Marty been online so much or whatever? There's some kind of um, I don't know. I want to call it a dampening field. I don't know. I like guess a Star Trek term or something. Uh, some kind of uh, something up up near um, where I work in Ogden that just cuts off internet service. I mean, it's bizarre, but it's like uh, you know my Facebook page, the YouTube, the emails. I mean, they just they take so long to load, and they'll just like stop loading. You know, and it's just it's strange. And so, pretty much when I get up um, around that IRS center. Um, it, it just, you know, it just, uh, stops working. So, anyways, uh, just wanted to, uh, do this quick video, give you guys an update. Man, I tell you something, it's, it's the best job, um, I, I've ever had. And, um, what's really funny, and I, and I wanted to share this too. You know, sometimes when you start, um, a new job, you have worries, you know, especially if you've never done that job before, if you, if you've never been in that career you know, before you've never been in that line of work. So you kind of imagine uh, scenarios in your mind that um, are like pretty bad, or you think, um, wow, I wonder if I can uh, handle that or not. And I'm here to tell you that um, the two biggest things I was really worried about um, was, you know, like a, a lot of crying. I, I was worried, wow, you know, what's it going to be like if, you know, the babies, you know, just cry and cry and there's kind of no uh, no uh, no soothing them, um, and and that really isn't an, an issue. That's 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 not an issue. Uh, there's a few babies that need a little bit more TLC, and that's okay. That's what that's what Mr. Marty's here for. Um, so really, it's not bad. It's not it's not how you would imagine it. You know, I mean, again, I think in life we tend to imagine like worst case scenarios or something, and then they turn out to they turn out to be not true. And so, um, and so, uh, that, that I was surprised. I was like, you know, that's, and I've been, you know, and I was in the infant room where it was an awful lot of crying and there were, you know, multiple babies crying and you're always, and you're trying to get to them and, and, uh, and, uh, you know, satisfy their, their needs and, and see what they need and stuff. And, and, um, you know, and so it's, it's not, it's not that it's not how you would imagine and then the other, the other thing that, you know, I kind of in my mind kind of conjured up all these, um, you know, worst case scenarios was the poopy diapers. I was thinking, um, wow, you know, well, one, it's been, I'm really out of practice. It's been like, you know, 30 some years before I've changed any diapers, let alone the, the poopy ones. And so I was kind of, you know, worst case scenario in my mind thinking, oh, you know, what is this going to be like? Am I, am I going to be able to uh, handle it? And actually I changed my first poopy diaper yesterday. It, it was a, a resounding success. I was asking my co-teachers, I'm like, uh, am I doing okay? doing okay? And they're like, yeah, you're fine. You're fine. You'll, you'll get better at it. And, uh, the, ba the baby was, was nice and, uh, uh, accommodating and you know for Mr. Marty being a novice uh, at this I'm not I'm not an expert by any stretch of the means but I think I'll I think I'll grow into that I think I'll uh, you know as you as more time and and stuff and more more practice so the two biggest things that I worried about the crying and the poopy diapers were really not an issue at all and again it's like it's the best job you could have I mean absolutely 
you know, I was, at one point they asked me to go in the toddler room to help out and I was dancing with the toddlers and we were giggling and laughing and, you know, and it's, and it's, it's wonderful. It is just like the best job you could ever have being a teacher for Bright Horizons. And, um, and, 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 and on that note, you know, I want to tell you this real quick. We had a staff meeting yesterday. I, I stayed over, um, and and uh, Mr. Michael took me home. I live 40 miles from my job, so he was gracious enough to take me home. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Mr. Michael, uh, for taking me home. Um, I, I was very grateful for that ride home. Um, but the staff meeting was awesome. And, you know, over over my career, over over all the many different jobs that I've had in different companies I've worked for, I've been to a lot of staff meetings. Was some of the more colorful ones I remember uh, were at Target Corporation. I, I remember some, some where basically they were called staff meetings, but we had other words for them because basically it was just... You know, a lot of negativity, a lot of people just sitting around going, ah, I don't, I don't like this and I don't like that. Boy, there was none of that at, uh, at our Bright Horizons uh, staff meeting. I mean, it was, it was all of the teachers and then the, the two directors, the two Miss Rachels. It was nothing but positivity, nothing but encouraging us to, you know, move forward with excellence, you know, addressing uh, challenges uh, addressing those challenges, but also, uh, moving forward. And, you know, how can we solve those problems? How can we, how can we address those challenges? And it was just nothing but positive. And it was, you know, us talking about, about how we appreciate one another and, and, uh, what we're grateful for at Bright Horizons. And, uh, and I certainly am grateful and, uh, you, you know, and I was grateful for the staff meeting because I learned a lot and it was a great chance to, to meet some of my uh, some of my a, a train coming, but I, I thought it was my train. I guess I guess not. Um, it was a great chance to uh, to uh, you know meet the other teachers and everything. And uh, yeah, it was just it was just absolutely fantastic. And uh, wow, that's a loud train. So uh, so anyways. Mr. Marty's getting kind of uh, hoarse here, trying to trying to uh, talk over the train. But anyways, we had a great staff meeting. Uh, you know, I just wanted to post this video real quick and tell you guys, hey, this is the best job I've ever had in my life. Best job ever. I love it. I love Bright Horizons, and uh, I will uh, I will post more. Uh, I will post more for you guys. Uh, here in the future but uh anyways well now the now the train is uh, i guess kind of uh, going up the tracks i'm still waiting for mine but anyways i just want to close this out by saying you know don't don't put your dreams on hold go and do what you want to do and go live your dreams that's what i've done and i gotta tell you i'm happy hey i'm commuting 40 miles to a job you know um i kind of caught a little bit of a bug you know, it's a common thing in daycares, and um, I'm kind of hoarse, I'm exhausted, but you know, I'm loving every minute of it. I'm, I'm loving every minute of it. Because um, when you when you walk into that room, um, you, you just, when you walk into that classroom, you're just like, wow, wow, this is what I've always wanted to do. And those babies, are so happy you're there and they're so happy that you love them and uh, you know it's just uh it, it is just the most wonderful thing oh oh my goodness now the train is uh now the train is going going bye bye so anyways um it's just the most wonderful job folks i'm really happy i just wanted to share that with you i'm in the right place and uh i am loving every single minute of this and uh and I'm grateful for uh, my co-teachers, for my directors, and and everyone at Bright Horizons. So, anyways, uh, just another another episode of Mr. Marty. So we will uh, we will chat with you later, folks. Take care. Thanks. Bye.